For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Palantir Technologies has been a beacon of success for its shareholders in recent times. The company's stock has skyrocketed by a remarkable 168% over the past 12 months, bringing it to new all-time highs. This impressive surge in value has been driven by the company's ventures into artificial intelligence analytics, substantial revenue growth, and expanding profit margins. These factors, combined with its inclusion in the S&P 500 index, have helped Palantir cement its place as one of the top performing stocks in recent memory. Much of the excitement surrounding Palantir stems from its ambitious vision and exceptional execution. The leadership team has laid out a forward-thinking plan for growth and has navigated the company's expansion with precision so far. But with such a rapid rise in its stock price and growing investor expectations, the question on everyone's mind is, where will Palantir be 10 years from now? Let's explore this further and evaluate the company's potential trajectory. To truly understand where Palantir is headed, it's important to first look at its origins. Palantir was initially founded with a focus on supporting the military and intelligence services of the United States. In a world increasingly driven by data, the need for advanced tools to sift through vast amounts of information became a crucial component of national security. This vision proved to be a smart strategy. Palantir quickly became the go-to provider for analytics and artificial intelligence software for a range of United States government agencies. The company has formed long-standing relationships with these agencies, which have substantial budgets to spend on advanced technologies. For instance, Palantir recently secured a major contract with the Department of Defense worth $480 million over a five-year period. This deal is centered around embedding Palantir's artificial intelligence operating system throughout the entire department. The goal is to integrate the company's advanced software into the daily lives of the thousands of individuals who work for and serve in the U.S. Armed Forces, making it an indispensable part of their operations. Palantir's relationship with the United States government remains a cornerstone of its business. However, the company has significantly expanded its reach beyond the public sector in recent years. By highlighting the fact that top intelligence agencies in the world rely on its technology, Palantir has successfully built trust and credibility with major U.S. businesses. This has allowed the company to grow its commercial customer base at an impressive rate. In fact, over the past three years alone, Palantir has multiplied its commercial customer count by nine times, a sign of strong demand for its products and services. The company's success in both the public and private sectors has set the stage for continued revenue growth over the next decade. As Palantir deepens its relationships with commercial customers and expands long-term contracts, its revenue should continue to rise. The potential for growth in this area is significant, especially as more businesses recognize the value of using advanced analytics and artificial intelligence to gain a competitive edge in their industries. When Palantir went public at the end of 2020, it was already demonstrating impressive revenue growth. Since its initial public offering, Palantir's revenue has surged by 175%, reaching a total of $2.48 billion over the past 12 months. In its most recent quarter, the company reported a 27% year-over-year increase in revenue, underscoring its ability to maintain strong momentum in both its government and commercial divisions. Despite this impressive growth, Palantir has faced its fair share of challenges along the way. One of the primary concerns for investors when the company first went public was its lack of profitability. At that time, Palantir's operating margin was close to negative 100%, largely due to the significant upfront investments the company was making and its use of stock options to attract talent. Many investors were worried that the company's aggressive spending habits would make it difficult to turn a profit. However, Palantir has made a remarkable turnaround in terms of operational efficiency. Over the past 12 months, the company has managed to achieve an operating margin of 12%. This improvement is particularly impressive given that Palantir continues to reinvest heavily in expanding its customer base and enhancing its services. The company's ability to balance growth with profitability is a testament to its disciplined approach to scaling the business. As a result, Palantir generated a record $292 million in operating income over the last 12 months, further solidifying its position as a financially sound and growing enterprise. Palantir's business is firing on all cylinders. Customer acquisition continues to rise, which is expected to lead to even more revenue in the years ahead. This has created a sense of optimism among investors, who have driven the stock price to an all-time high of $40 in recent weeks. This is the same price level that Palantir briefly reached during the market bubble 
April of 2021, but this time the surge appears to be backed by stronger business fundamentals. Despite the excitement, however, there are concerns about Palantir's valuation. Shares of the company do not appear to be trading at a discount. Let's examine two common valuation metrics to put things in perspective, the price to sales ratio and the price to earnings ratio. Currently, Palantir has a price to sales ratio of 37 and a price to earnings ratio of 229. By comparison, the S&P 500 has an average price to earnings ratio of 29. This highlights the fact that investors are placing very high expectations on Palantir's future growth potential, potentially setting the stage for disappointment if the company fails to meet these lofty goals. So what does the future hold for Palantir? Let's consider a scenario where the company's revenue grows from $2.49 billion to $20 billion over the next 10 years. If Palantir can also expand its profit margins to 30% during this time, it would generate approximately $6 billion in annual earnings. Based on its current market capitalization of $86 billion, this would give Palantir a price to earnings ratio of 14.3 in 10 years, lower than today's valuation, but still comparable to the long-term average of the S&P 500 index. While this scenario would represent excellent performance for any business, few companies are able to sustain double-digit revenue growth indefinitely. Even if Palantir continues to grow rapidly, its stock price may not see significant gains over the next decade, as its current valuation already reflects extremely high expectations. In fact, it's quite possible that Palantir's stock could remain flat or even decline over the next 10 years, especially if the company's growth slows or if investor sentiment shifts. Taking all these factors into account, it seems unlikely that Palantir's stock will be significantly higher in 10 years than it is today. Although the company is poised for continued business success, its current valuation suggests that future stock price gains may be limited. Investors should carefully consider the risks associated with buying a stock that is already priced for perfection. In the end, Palantir Technologies has experienced a stunning rise in stock value, with shares increasing by 168% over the past year. This growth is fueled by the company's ventures into artificial intelligence and analytics, along with its expanding revenue and profit margins. Palantir's government contracts, particularly with the Department of Defense, and its rapidly growing commercial customer base are key drivers of future growth, even if the company continues to perform well over the next decade. The stock price may not rise significantly due to its already stretched valuation. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.